It was a battle of two undefeated high school boys soccer teams tonight. The Pine Islands of Broda Mazeppa Wildcats hosted the Lord Eagles. The Wildcats are in the maroon jerseys and the Eagles are in white. PEIZM got on the board first. Kurt Rood finds the back of the net right there. The Wildcats lead one to nothing early. And Lord Blake Moyna passes it to his teammate right in front of the net. But the goalkeeper is there for the save. And we are still waiting on the final score of this one. Here are a few final scores in girls high school soccer. The Albert Lee Tigers won in a close one over the Austin Packers 3-2. And the St. Charles Saints beat the La Crescent Hoka Lancers 7-2. And switching to the volleyball court, the Century Panthers hosted a tough, undefeated Cass and Manorville Comets team. The Comets took the first set, but the Panthers were ready for set two. Let's take a look at this one. Comets, Ellie Ask and Abby Baker get the block at the net right there. That ties this one up at 22 and after a long volley. Ask with the across the court shot right there. The Panthers cannot return it. It's 24 23 century. And the Panthers seal the deal right here. The Comets cannot save it. Century takes set 2 25 to 23, and the Panthers beat the Comets in five sets. And in North Iowa volleyball, the Rockford Warriors beat the Northwood Kensett Vikings in three sets. The, Century Springs, the Central Springs Panthers got the win over the Nashua Plainfield Huskies three to nothing. And in the Tennis U.S. Open, Quad City's own Madison Keys is still competing. She advanced to the quarterfinal match, knocking off the number three seed yesterday. Keys is the 17th seed and won big over the three seed, Jessica Pagula, yesterday. Keys will hit the court again tomorrow night at six against the nine seed from Czech Republic. And in the WNBA, the Minnesota Lynx clinched a playoff spot with the win over the Phoenix Suns over the weekend. This is video from that game. The Lynx are just the second team ever to lose its first six games and still clinch a playoff spot. Minnesota is currently the five seed, and they are now fighting for home court advantage in the first round of the postseason. There's still lots to play for. And as we talked about, certainly excited. I mean, the locker room wasn't going crazy. You know, they were happy. You know, they understand. They, it wasn't going crazy. You know, it's not like we won a championship. You know, we secured a playoff spot. Um, you know, we, we know that there's more for us. The Lynx finish up the regular season with two games on the road. The next game is on Friday at Chicago Sky.